2023 has been a pivotal year for AI. And yes, it is difficult to keep track of all the developments, make sense out of them, and still pursue your uh, dream to become a data scientist. In fact, we have got a lot of queries about what should be the roadmap to become a data scientist in 2024. Which tools to learn, what skills to focus on. Hence, for all of you who want to make it big in 2024, here is our roadmap to become a data scientist. First, we'll give you a framework, which is basically this equation. Look, to become a data scientist, you need essentially three things. The right set of tools, diverse set of techniques, and a skill to design impactful solutions. Now, these skills have a multiplicative effect. For example, if you learn Python, which is a tool, you can very well try uh, techniques like exploratory data analysis or EDA. And uh, in this learning roadmap, to become a data scientist in 2024, we are going to give you a step-by-step -step framework on what tools and techniques you must learn, along with how to build the highly sought-after design skill. One major change in this year's roadmap is that it is squeezed into nine months. Last year's roadmap was uh, 12 months, those of you who know. Uh, but there is much more added to what you need to learn this year, given the rapid advancements happening around AI. And uh, you have to cover that ground fast. Hence, this nine month roadmap is prepared, assuming you shall study for a minimum 15 to 20 hours a week. On this note, let's begin. In the first three months, your goal would be to learn the foundational data analytics skills like programming, basic statistics, EDA software engineering skills, and finally, the basics of cloud computing. With the knowledge of these skills, you can start applying for data analyst roles right after the first three months. Now, here's what you need to learn during the course of the three months. First of all, begin with a tool that is a programming language like Python or R. Python, of course, is a great choice. It has a wide range of applications. It is very easy to learn and extremely versatile. Thereafter, you also should learn a domain-specific language, uh, which is SQL. SQL is used for tasks like querying a database, managing, manipulating data stored in relational databases as well. Next in line is uh, software engineering skills. Here, focus on uh, tools like Git and GitHub. These are web-based platforms that allow you to store and manage code online. In addition, you need to learn Linux commands as it will help you in navigating, processing, and managing data efficiently. Next one on our list is cloud computing. Here, learn any one of the following platforms, be it AWS, GCP, or Azure. Choose a platform that aligns uh, with your future goals and uh, get an idea of it. Uh, get on with the basic functions like how to set up a machine running, uh, Jupyter Notebooks, how to optimize for storage, security on the platform, etc. Next up, focus on techniques like basic statistics that are useful for machine learning. This includes descriptive statistics, probability, hypothesis testing, and regression analysis. The next technique to focus on is EDA. EDA or exploratory data analysis is the process of visually and statistically summarizing, interpreting, and understanding the main characteristic of a data set. It includes techniques like uh, univariate, bivariate analysis. So you must learn how to perform EDA with the help of Python. Uh, for that, you must know the relevant Python libraries like Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, etc. And you know what? With AI tools like ChatGPT and its code interpreter, EDA has become so much easier now. All you need is to provide your dataset to ChatGPT and start asking questions like check for missing values, how to impute those missing values with mean or median, and lastly, you may also check for outliers. Then comes design. Over here, strengthen your problem formulation skills. For uh, this, question and define how a problem may be answered. All throughout this uh, quarter one, Focus on strengthening your analytical skills by practicing problems around logical reasoning, data interpretation, and basic mathematics. Additionally, focus on enhancing your PPT skills during this first quarter. All right, by the end of quarter one, you will have a solid foundation for machine learning. And uh, as I said at the beginning, at this point, you may start applying for data analyst roles. Yes, you will need to create a resume, a cover letter, and uh, a LinkedIn account now. And uh, with the help of ChatGPT, you may do that in a span of minutes. Another good exercise during uh, quarter one is to keep up with the developments in the generative AI space. So that's another thing you should watch out for. 
In the second quarter, you should focus on essential mathematics for machine learning and further advanced ML topics like uh, deep learning covering both NLP as well as computer vision. Thereafter, end-to-end -end project covering model deployment as well. And uh, at the end of this uh, second quarter, you may start participating in data science competitions that are organized on Kaggle as well as data hack platforms, along with applying for entry level data science jobs as well. Now, let's double click on what you need to learn in the second quarter. We have focused on the tools in the last quarter. Here, we'll focus on the techniques. The first technique is essential mathematics that is needed for machine learning. This includes understanding of concepts like linear algebra, gradient descent, followed by learning various uh, supervised and uh, unsupervised machine learning algorithms. And uh, finally, various model evaluation matrix like accuracy, precision and recall. Now to learn how to solve real world problems with machine learning, you must practice tons of machine learning projects. And for that, you may pick up from these projects that we have zoted for you. Find links to these projects in the description part below. With a handful of projects under your belt, you may now move on to more advanced machine learning techniques like ensemble learning, followed by fundamentals of deep learning like basics of neural networks, popular deep learning frameworks, and transfer learning. Once you cover all of these, you will get deeper into deep learning, focus on natural language processing and computer vision, followed by end-to-end -end projects under these particular domains. All right, then comes MLOps. So over here, essentially what you are learning are the tools and what you decide to do with them are the techniques, such as model deployment. In our first quarter, you have already covered cloud platforms. Next in cloud platform comes MLOps. This is basically taking ML models to production scale. For uh, MLOps, you may focus on these particular tools, make yourself familiar with the uh, containerization and uh, app building frameworks like Streamlit and Gradio. You have covered the uh, MLOps platforms like Azure, AWS, or GCP. Now focus on necessary techniques for managing end-to-end -end machine learning project lifecycle, which is build, train, deploy, and maintain. Finally, you have learned all the skills you need. Next, you must do end-to-end -end projects along with documenting them on GitHub. This way you are solving real world problems just like a data scientist would do. In quarter two, we will focus on communication skills. To improve your communication skills, practice storytelling by writing blogs or making YouTube videos for that matter. Additionally, focus on structured thinking. You may improve this by practicing guesstimates, reading case studies, and uh, practicing mind mapping as well. You must also learn additional uh, techniques like model implementation skill, which includes A-B testing. This is a methodology for uh, comparing two versions of a model against each other to determine which one performs better. And finally, monitoring of these models uh, is also something that is to be covered. By the end of quarter two, you shall have an end-to-end -end understanding of building basic as well as advanced machine learning models and deploying them as well. Now you are eligible to apply for uh, entry-level data science jobs. All right, now we have come to the final quarter of this learning roadmap and uh, there's one and only one objective over here to land a full-time job in the domain of data science. Here's all what you need to learn within this third quarter. If you are a working professional who is upskilling to become a data scientist, you may want to build some domain expertise in your current area of work. Let's say you are a data analyst at an insurance company. With the tools and techniques you have uh, learned in the past six months, you may now want to uh, use them to develop algorithms that are necessary for solving problems within the insurance business. This is a key technique to implement uh, whatever you have learned so far. And uh, if you are a fresher who is just starting out, in that case, you may do exploration by trying out a diverse range of uh, data science problems available on uh, platforms like Kaggle or DataHack. In terms of learning, you may focus on advanced topics around AI like generative models that entails uh, large language models and diffusion models. Trust me guys, knowledge of uh, these will make you industry ready. And by the way guys, at this point, you may want to choose a track, either natural language processing, aka NLP, or computer vision. If you choose the generative model for NLP track, here's what you need to learn. For getting started with LLMs, uh, you may want to understand what LLMs are, different types of large language models that are available. Also, learn about foundation models. 
Then comes prompt engineering. Within this, you should master prompt engineering and its uh, various techniques and tricks. Then comes RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation. Under this, learn how to build RAG applications using Llama Index or Langchain. Thereafter comes fine-tuning large language models. At this level, you should be able to fine-tune LLMs on domain-specific datasets using PEFT, which is parameter-efficient fine-tuning. If you choose the generative model for computer vision track, here's what you need to learn. First of all, to get started with the stable diffusion models, focus on fundamentals like what is diffusion model, different types of diffusion models. Also learn about stable diffusion models. Then comes prompt engineering under this master uh, different prompting techniques for getting optimal results from a text to image model like Midjourney or DALI 3. Uh, thereafter comes fine tuning of a stable diffusion model. Within this, you should be able to fine tune a stable diffusion model on a domain specific dataset again using PEFT. Thereafter, personalizing stable diffusion models. Here you need to learn controlling stable diffusion models like Dream Booth and Instruct Picks to Picks. In terms of design skill, in this quarter, focus on design thinking. It is a non-linear iterative process that is used to understand end users, challenge assumptions, redefine problems and create innovative solutions. This process involves uh, basically five phases, empathize, define, ideate, prototype and test. This is definitely something uh, you must learn as a data scientist. After quarter three, be it a fresher or a working professional, you will be able to apply for full-fledged data science roles. For this, update your resume, start preparing for interviews. We have a whole bunch of uh, videos that will guide you on how to go about getting your uh, dream job at this point. Additionally, using the knowledge of uh, natural language processing and computer vision in the generative AI domain, you may also start exploring ideas of building your own AI applications. So this is your complete nine month uh, learning path to become a data scientist in 2024. As Analytics Vidya, we have helped more than 400,000 data science aspirants achieve their dreams through our industry focus career roadmaps. And if you are looking for a step-by-step -step guide uh, to become a data scientist without leaving your job, you can enroll in our Black Belt Plus program. As part of this uh, full stack data science program, you get a personalized uh, learning roadmap curated just for you, along with 50 plus hands-on industry projects, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, dedicated interview preparation, and placement support. And yes, you may also join us on our uh, Analytics Vidya community platform where you get uh, data science and generative AI community groups tailored to your interest, opportunities to learn alongside your peers, and above all, you get free access to live webinars and AMA sessions from industry experts. Yeah. So that's all for today. For more such uh, informative data science content, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever our new video is live. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning and bye.